Brera Art Gallery was initially founded alongside the Academy of the Fine Arts by the Hofburg in the late 18th century as a collection of paintings, sculptures and plaster copies to the use it by the Academia's student body. Its patrimony came from churches and the state of Catholic and clerical order that he been surprised not long before. The building which used to the Academia had formerly been the Milanese at square of the Jesuit order. The art collection was dramatically enlarged during the Napoleonic era between 1799-1850, when Milan became a capital. The gallery received an extraordinary number of the artworks confiscated from the whole over the north of Italy, in particular from Lombardy, Veneto, and of course Venice, a larger church of Emilia Romagna and Marche. In the 1882, the Pinacoteca was officially separated from the Academia and used to become, to all effect and purpose, one of the Italian state's main art museum. The heart of the gallery is dedicated to the cultural figure of Urbino and these three main protagonists, Piero della Francesca, Raffaello and Bramante. The Palla Montefeltro, or Palla di Brera, is the last work of Piero della Francesca, the leading innovation in the painting of the Renaissance in Italy. It, wo it was executed for Federico de Montefeltro between 1572 and 1574, and it's one of the most completed demonstrations of Piero. Another icon of the museum is the Sposalizio della Vergine by Raffaello, signed and the date 1504. It's a masterpiece of the young painting of Forbino and represents a prime example of the relation between Raffaello and Perugino. The Cristo della Colonna by Donato Bramante closes the room, is come for the Chiaravalle Habe and this is the only evidence of a panel painting by the architect from Rubino. In 1929, uh, the Brera Art Gallery celebrated with a series of events, exhibition and conference 200 years since its foundation. On uh, 15 August 29, the Art Gallery opened to the public for free, registering a record number of 20 million visitors. Overall, the years of the Bicentenarial Art Gallery has doubled its inputs.